Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. The SMG category now is in one of the most competitive places it's ever been post season five. So today I wanted to count down, in my opinion, the top five best SMGs to be using in the game right now, starting first at number five, with the mp40 now this is an smg that was not really touched with the season 5 update but because we saw like the top core three nerfs some this now indirectly is more competitive than ever it's got a very consistent ttk right there with the other subs it's got great mobility great recoil as well it obviously has been a fan favorite sub pretty much since caldera dropped and it is now again like i said more competitive than it's been in quite some time so as far as our setup goes here we are starting first with the recoil booster that'll help out some of that ttk i'm also still running the short barrel this has been the meta barrel for a bit here helps out with the range the velocity the limb damage the headshot damage isn't there but also uh that's the hardest hitbox to always consistently land shots on so it's not a huge deal that you're losing some damage there I don't really love the iron sights with the short barrel on there, so I go for the slate reflector. If you're a fan of the iron sights, by all means, feel free to use them. Just comes down to preference there. For the stock, we are still going for the folding. You don't want to use removed here because that's not helping the sprint to fire out at all. Uh, folding though, sprint to fire and better movement speed, so you'll love to see that. Perk one, I'm still going for perfectionist to help out with that control here and there. And then perk two, I'm always going for quick for that better sprint speed, just makes the subs more aggressive. You're gonna see that on every single SMG setup here today. For our rear grip, I'm still running taped as well. Better movement speed, that weapon swap quickness is always super nice. Better sprint to fire as well. We also got the Granko 45 on there for that better movement, better ADS, better fire rate will help out with that optimal TTK. You could go for a mix of different ammunitions. Subsonic to keep you off the map is sort of my go-to, but you could also go for hollow point if you wanted too frangible or lengthened even any of those will work well it just depends on what you want on your specific build the most i like staying off the radar then for the underbarrel, i got two options here it's either the skeletal for that better ads speed and that very slight movement speed increase or the pistol grip for the better sprint of fire and the better aim walking move speed and whatnot personally i don't think the recoil is all that bad on the mp40 so that recoil control con there not really a huge deal the pistol grip really really solid here in season five so mp40 starting off strong here for this being the number five spot it's still a really really good smg also as we make our way through this list if you enjoy the video feel free to drop a like on it it does really help grow the channel and if you're new to the channel feel free to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications you already know every day i got you covered with the best loadouts the latest news and updates everything going on in cod you'll find it right here but at number four I've got the Mark 05. This is one that saw some pretty decent nerfs with the Season 5 updates. Obviously, it was a top three sub alongside the Blixen and the Arma with Season 4, uh, but now it's a lot more in line, I would say. Uh, I did see some damage nerfs. It's still going to have a fantastic TTK, also one of the faster SMGs we've got in the game, so it's still incredibly reliable, just not as dominant as it was before. Here again, we're starting with that recoil booster. I'm still liking to use the 240 barrel. Uh, this is going to be for that better fire rate, so that TTK is going to be spiked see it just has a little bit more recoil than the alternative barrel which would be the 342 here which is a lot easier to use it's just not going to kill as quickly it's going to be a little bit slower so if you want a straight shooter go for the 342 if you want a fast uh ttk option go for the 240 the rest of the setup is pretty much the same we got the slate reflector we also got the fr stock on here for that better initial control better ads better movement speed so it's nice and aggressive because of that i've been using the steady under barrel because i do hip fire a bit with this build especially because i uh for a perk i do use gung ho that's about the only good perk here so that helps out there also gives me a little bit of uh recoil benefits as well for the magazine we're still running the 64 round drums i've got subsonic on here again you could also go for the other ammo types if you want and then for the rear grip we are again going for taped on there as well and perk 2 as mentioned always going to be quick so very fast very aggressive marco setup here that kills very very quickly now at number three i've got the arma again still a super super strong smg just not nearly as dominant as it was in previous seasons still going to be great for movement pretty straightforward to use like the recoil i don't think is all that bad and the ttk is still very very competitive again we're starting with recoil booster you could go for a couple of different builds here i'm still liking the 315 for that better damage the control here is worse very similar build to the marco when it comes down to it so a little bit more recoil but it's going to kill a lot faster in close range it's certainly manageable if you don't want to use this barrel though i think your next best bet would be the 550 or even the precision barrel here 550 is going to be a little bit easier to use though for what it's worth but for me the 315 is still hitting we got the slate reflector on here yet again for the stock you can go between folding or skeletal skeletal did see a nerf with season five so its benefits are not going to be as good 
Folding though makes this nice and aggressive and very, very fast. So I really like that about this. Uh, for the under barrel here, kind of the same deal as before. You could go for skeletal if you wanted to. You could go for the pistol grip or you could go for the compact, which helps out with some of that strife speed. And personally, I really enjoy using this as the under barrel here. We got the 60 round extended mag here for our magazine. We got some Sonic on here yet again, also tapes. We got quick per usual, sort of the same old, same old there. Then perk one, I've been going for slide of hand. Hard scope doesn't really mix well with any of these stocks here. So uh, I like going for slide of hand. It's giving you that slightly faster reload, keeping the aggressiveness up there. Very solid SMG still. Again, just not going to be as broken as it once was. Now at number two, we got the Blixen. Again, it got some slight nerfs with season five. Just not going to be as broken as it was in season four. Still though, in my opinion, one of the best SMGs you can run in the game at the moment. We're going to go to the barrel last because there are a few different builds you could run with this thing based on how you want to, uh, you know, engage with this gun and how you want it to feel. But we're going for the recoil booster. We're going to have the slate reflector on there as well. For our stock, I'm still going for a move for that better movement and sprint to fire and ADS. Tons of... Uh, mobility benefits there you could go for a handful of different under barrels here once more skeletal the pistol grip the uh, steady grip or compact if you want i prefer using skeletal on this personally for the magazine here i'm still running the garenko 54 still feeling very strong and very aggressive we got some sonic we've got taped on here yet again you guessed it we're also using quick Perk one, I like going for fleet for that better speed and that better weapon swap quickness. And like I said, for the barrel, you got some options. If you want a good strafe build, you could go for the Carlson 17 custom. And if you want a strafe uh, build in general, I'd probably switch over to the compact under barrel for this particular setup. However, if you want a more aggressive build, you could go for the RMK, which has an incredible TTK. This thing melts, but it has a bit more recoil. Skeletal is still a solid option here if you're comfortable with the slight bounce that it does have. If you're not, you could certainly go ahead and use something like Steady as well. That would be a solid alternative there. So this is a really, really fast TTK build. If you want a fast ADS and relatively easy to use build, you go for the F3 barrel and the Skeletal underbarrel. In my opinion, my favorite build currently is still the 17 inch with the uh, compact under barrel just for that nice strafe it still is super easy to use very low recoil it just feels very consistent all around and then coming in at number one i'm sure several of you saw this one coming because i have been gassing the ppsh up all week ever since the update but this thing just fries. You could build the hip fire version of it. You could build the standard ADS version of it, and it's going to do so well in any scenario. Again, I want to focus on the barrel last because there are several different uh, options here and alternative builds you could use, but we got recoil booster. I like the ISO 3P iron sights for all my builds, just an alternative to the iron sights that are a little bit cleaner. In my opinion, we got the remove stock for the best movement possible for our under barrel here. Primarily, I'm going for skeletal. Depending on the barrel you're using, you might want to update that to one of the other main options, compact, uh, the standard the pistol grip if you so please magazine we're using the nambu 71 these are the best magazines to be using after the season 5 update we got some sonic we've got tapes we also have quick on there no surprises perk one i'm gonna go ahead and run fleet as well for that better movement tight grip doesn't really seem to have any major effects here uh so that better movement's always solid and then for the barrel you really could use any of these obviously for a hip fire build you probably want to go for the 230 i see a lot of players using this for an ads build and I don't know why. You're not getting the full benefits out of this uh, barrel when you're ADSing. So I wouldn't use this for that. You could use the white barrel and go for a strafe build if you wanted to. In that case, I'd switch over to the compact under barrel, of course. You could go for the rapid barrel, which gives you an absurd TTK, but the recoil is going to be a little bit worse. However, this build in particular, you might want to swap out skeletal for maybe strife angled or even uh, the steady under barrel here. It's going to be very, very fun and efficient for close range, but super close range. You could also use the 300 millimeter barrel, which I find to be the most consistent. And with that, of course, I'd be running skeletal as well. A little bit slower when it comes to ADS, but it's going to also just shoot straight as can be. So it's super easy to land shots on target. But really, between rapid, light, and 300, you got plenty of barrel options there. I mean, the thing is very, very versatile. That being said, those are the top five best subs in Warzone right now. And that's going to wrap things up. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you are new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with literally everything going on in COD, I got you covered every single day. So feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.